Our goal at Crittenden Hospital is to maximize the benefit for our patient during their procedures. The benefit would be not only by technical skills, but by also having them going through a procedure seamlessly. Meaningly, they're not gonna have to really go through any discomfort of significance. They don't have to stay in the hospital for a longer period, and they can go home the same day they have their procedure. Transradial procedures started at Crittenden around 2011. The majority of our patients are done transradially. In fact, 80% of our patients are done transradially, and it is the proper and the first choice of procedures done in the cath lab here. Previous to the transradial approach, when uh, patients had a procedure done through the femoral artery, you're looking at six to eight hours recovery in our department if they were gonna go home, if we didn't find anything wrong, um, or finding them a bed upstairs to recover. The radial approach that we do here uh, two hours post-procedure, as long as we don't put a stent in, patients are discharged. If we do put a stent in, they're discharged in about six hours. We have chosen to perform transradial procedures over femoral axis for multiple reasons. The transradial procedures are more comfortable than groin axis. The patient is capable of setting up post-procedure very early, uh, less potential of complications, less bleeding, and ability to have a shortened length of stay about six hours post-procedure and less expensive doing such procedure rather than going through the groin. I've had heart problems for about 13 years now. Dr. Kazia is, you know, a really good doctor and he told me about the wrist procedure over the groin procedure. The side effects and the other things were so much better that I said, yeah, sounds good and they went through the wrist instead of the groin and the side effects were like night and day. With the wrist, I was out the same day. Through the groin, I had to lay on my back for 24 hours and towards the end, it started spasming. It was really rough. But going through the wrist is so much easier and less painful too. You don't have to worry about the night in the hospital, your home recovering, in your own bed, with your own family around you and friends, you know, helping you recover. Medtronic has been in the forefront in supporting the endeavor to move the interventional cardiologist into the arena of transradial procedures, specifically physicians who are interested in expanding their practices in, in that method. And Medtronic has made it clear that part of their uh, really endeavor is to partnership with the hospital's administrators and cardiologists to really promote such procedures which will enhance quality yet be cost effective. As a medical device partner to hospitals across the country, we recognize that adopting TRA can be challenging without the help of experts. Through partnerships with physicians and hospitals, such as Dr. Gazia and Crittenden Hospital, Medtronic offers an extensive suite of programs and services to support TRA education for physicians and staff. This includes programs such as the Proctorship and Perceptor programs that facilitate peer-to-peer -peer training for physicians and staff on the transradial procedure. We also provide advanced programs for physicians, staff, and hospital executives focused on the advantages and risks of adopting the TRA procedure within a hospital. This includes the simple and cost-effective way to equip your cat lab. Anything new is exciting. It's not often that a technique or procedure benefits the patient and the doctor and the hospital's bottom line, which a radial access program really does. Crittenden's not a large hospital, but we've proven that we can embrace these types of opportunities. And the radio program, because it's been so successful, we're absolutely proud of it. Our goal is to have the TRA program as the standard of care uh, for Southeast Michigan. In Crittenden Hospital, we're planning to have the holding area transformed, which would be in compliance with the transradial program, meaning the patient would not have to be on a gurney or laying flat. He would be more of a, a recliner type of situation. Uh, they'll have drinks next to them. They'll be watching TV. It is really going to transform the cath lab to an operation as an outpatient operation, including for PCI. You look at the trees different, you look at the birds different, you look at everything totally different from the procedure. And you're just feeling better, you're just alive again.